Hello, this is Solar PV TV in our suppliers panel discussion from EU PVSEC 2014 from Paris. Today we'll be speaking with suppliers of the industry about the current situation in the industry and how do they see the next evolution uh, within the industry. So I would like to present Eric, Laura and Alessandro. And uh, I would like to ask you guys for a short presentation of uh, your company and uh, which part of the value chain you are representing. And also, uh, what is your, uh, let's say, uh, view of uh, this exhibition here in Paris? Okay, so uh, Thomas, thank you for having me. So Eric Kass from the company Multicontact. I'm uh, um, uh, manager market development for photovoltaics. Uh, Multicontact is a connector maker, um, leading company in the field of connectors. So we are involved in the bus uh, building of system. And um, and how do you see the um, exhibition here? So um, basically, uh, historically, um, the, the PVSEC is a very important show for the European market. Uh, we know that the conference are are more than uh, uh, welcome and, and well visited by, by interesting people. Um, the show is, is, is getting a little bit smaller during the year, but uh, still we had some, some nice meeting yesterday and hopefully we, had, we will have some further nice meeting today and tomorrow. So, Laura, EVA specialist. How do you see the expo and uh, short introduction of EVASA? Okay, uh, I am uh, the global sales director for EVASA. Uh, my company is EVA producer. Uh, we have uh, two gigawatts uh, located in Spain. Um, and okay, the, the show is, uh, I think that uh, PVSEC started like uh, more for conference than for uh, exhibition. Then the good years of the market uh, became for more uh, exhibition show. And, and seeing this year, I think that is going to be a game only for conference. Uh, for us, uh, has been a, a, a good show until now because we had some meetings uh, with uh, interesting customers, but uh, the show is, is smaller than, than other years. Yeah. Alessandro from Covema. Thomas, thanks for having me here as well. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Alessandro Anderlini, business manager of Coveme. Um, Coveme is producer of Backsheet. Uh, worldwide we have factory in Italy and in China and yeah how do I see the exhibition the exhibition is uh, I would say relatively calm uh, compared to the other years the other years were ex extremely interesting and uh, so I see more uh, I see it more as a meeting point with uh, producer potential customers and also is also of course very interesting for the clinics the conference this is the major task of this exhibition and do you think, uh, Alessandro, that this is related to the fact that uh, markets are shifting uh, outside of the Europe? And um, does it also influence the strategy of uh, Coveme? And how do you deal with this challenging situation that we have 60 or 50 markets instead of 3-4 before in the past? Right, for sure it has influenced the fact that the market is shifting uh, big time to, to, to the Asian side, especially China. And that's why all the component producers like us, also man manufacturing line producers, are trying to focus much more in the, in, the, in the Chinese market. Nevertheless, I still believe that there will be a very important market in Europe. Europe, at the end of the day, is an installation market. This is expected to install, let's say, 10 to 14 gigawatt. Uh, from this year, this year and also the other year. So we still focus on this market and also on the other uh, upcoming market like US, for example, or US is already established, but it's increasing big time. And also India, Turkey, I would say, is an interesting market r right now. And mi mi Middle East is a potential market for the future. So <clears throat> I see that uh, Europe will be still considered from Kovem an important market. Of course, we have a factor in China, so a main effort now is is to, to develop the market there. Okay, uh, Laura, uh, you were recently wearing Indian dress when we yeah. met uh, uh -huh. in New Delhi. Two weeks ago, yeah. Yes, in the past, uh, I remember that Evaza was especially focused on the European clients. Yes. And uh, what about now? 
Yeah, I was uh, started uh, focus uh, first of all in Spanish customers, and then when Spain suffered this uh, problem with PB, uh, they went for European customers, and, and still Europe is our main market nowadays because, as uh, Alessandro said, uh, okay, Europe is not at the same situation than two years ago, but uh, still we have a good customers here, and we trust in a uh, European. Uh, uh, module f uh, manufacturers but uh, now for me uh, you know that is my second month in at the company um, my, my 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 focus is uh, going to other 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 countries to other markets then we want to focus in India uh, we are going to be in Chicago next week uh, we want to 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 try in, also in China yeah um, Ebasa is ready to, to sell the product in, 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 in other countries and in other continents, yeah. So Eric, from the point of view of uh, Multicontact, the company which is working on a global level, not only in PV, but also um, in other businesses, uh, how do you see you know, this uh, shifting of the markets? How does it influence the activities of, of uh, Multicontact in PV business? So, well, you know, historically, Multicontact bring the first connector for the PV market in 1996. It means we have a, and we had a very strong sales structure in Europe, and we build our sales structure in Europe. And we have a lot of experience, we know all our customer very well. And this is now very challenging because addressing all these new markets, and as we are not only addressing um, OEMs as model makers and inverter makers, but also installation markets, means it's very challenging to transfer the know-how and all the experience we had in, in Europe to all these new markets. In some of the countries we do have some local units, so it's really an advantage for multi-contact with an international structure, but in some countries we do not have one, so it's even more challenging to find partners or to, to train, to educate people on, on our products. So um, all of you, they are coming, let's say, from the socialist business yeah? because in the past uh, uh, let's say that PV business was more suppliers market now it's more clients market how did you change uh, your approach in the customer relationship with regards to that point it's, it's, it's a tough question I mean, for sure, um, at, at a certain point, um, we see the, the, the shifts on the market also on the, on the buying strategy. I mean, at the beginning, it was quality. The first people, movers on the market that had products that were really uh, gaining and, and, uh, and winners on the markets. And then we seen this shift where it were more a, a buyer's market. So like people were looking for prices quality was not that more a topic or less a topic and then we see again a shift to uh, to quality so people expecting quality products again because we expect that the PV system is working 25 years long and yeah that's a little bit uh, the shift we, we experienced these these last five years and Laura uh, do you think that uh, the change let's say in the business models. Yeah, so in the past we are working especially with the feed-in tariffs in Europe. Now we are starting to work with uh, PPA models. We are focusing more on the residential market. Do you think it also influences your customers' needs? So do, do they only require the cheap price or they are, yeah. do they speak more about the quality? Huh. The thing is, uh, as uh, Eric said, uh, uh, has been a, a change during this year. No, uh, I remember also in the past, it, price was not the most important thing. Uh, it, I had more meetings with technical people. Then maybe 2011, 2012 was price the only thing, the, 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 the key question. And nowadays, uh, people started to try to save cost. Uh, winning some power boost of the models, you know, this, this is the thing. The European uh, suppliers, they are trying to offer to their customers something more. Again, Europe is trying to stand apart of, from other, other model manufacturers, trying to, to offer uh, to their customers uh, some advantage uh, with their model. Uh, nowadays, with the 
sales high efficiency. We we have a, a product, for instance, is a, a solar cap, solar total transmission with a lower cut off, and then it's possible to get more efficiency with the module. And this is one of the products that we have been more meetings uh, to talk about. Customers, this is the thing. They, they want to offer something more to their customers. Hmm. And uh, did you also, Alessandro, notice that in the discussions with uh, your customers? And also maybe, uh, what is the approach of the clients in the new emerging markets, like Turkey, for example? Do they only negotiate the price, uh, payment terms, or they are also concerned about the quality? Uh, for sure, the quality is always the base. Let's say, I, 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 as we discussed before, uh, bankability is the most important topic if you want to deal with the big investors. The big investors, they need uh, modules, materials that are able to withstand more than 25 years. So the components inside the, the, the PD models should be uh, able to withstand this, this, this long term. And so the quality is always important and it's always, they will always be uh, very important. At the same price, you know, the, 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 at the same time, the price is uh, playing a big role. But I would say as we, as Kuveme, we try to give uh, uh, also uh, a lot of flexibility. The customer asks for fle flexibility in dealing with, the, with their supplier. They need to have uh, sh uh, shorter um, delivery time and they need to reduce their inventory stock. So they need to have a flexible approach from their supplier. This is what we, we offer together with a, a wide, wider range of products. Uh, in fact, to today BIPV is very important and the re residential market still plays a big part in Europe. So we are offering products with uh, different uh, um, colors, for example, or for different application and also we enter a very important market because efficiency is playing always uh, and, and, and most recently a very important role you know to have more output in a, in a shortened space that's why we are offering a back contact foil for back contact technology and this is uh, for us a, a big field to <coughs> that will we, we believe will develop very much in the future and uh, with regards to the new uh, agreement which was reached uh, between China and Europe on the minimum price for the Chinese modules. Did you notice any increased <coughs> demand from your European customers? And another part of the question, do you still believe in the production in Europe? Is it worth to produce in Europe? Yeah, again, as I said, Europe, it is an installation market and it will still be an installation market. So to be close to the, the, the installer, I think, is the key point. Uh, module is very, it's very heavy to move, and it also needs needs um, a warranty, needs uh, assistance. So I still believe that there will be an important market in Europe. There will be a consolidation, as it is, as we can see now. There, there is a lot of uh, share left empty from companies that are not in the market anymore. So uh, there is a changing going on, and I think that the, the market will will. Will will swift. We'll will have a big change next year. So, which markets do you see, like you know, for the manufacturing? Which countries will be for uh, the manufacturing the side? Of course, China will play a big role. The big five, ten Chinese, we know, they will be still supported by the government. Support, the, but the government is not willing to give help to all the other 300 companies. So, there will be a consolidation in China. Regarding the other market, I see India a very uh, important market for also for production. Again, all the East, East Eu European market and maybe in future also the Middle East. And as you asked before, just to mention the, um, um, the anti-dumping case impact, uh, I would say that talking with many of producers of our customers, they are not very happy because at the end of the day, the cost for the module has, let's say, increased because they have to buy sales not from China anymore and the sales price has increased, so for them, it was not really helpful, but we will see maybe at, at, at the end, uh, at the, the beginning of next year, how this will uh, impact on our customers. And what do you think about that, uh, Laura? Uh, yeah, regarding this about the anti-dumping agreement, uh, I have some customers that, that they have more opportunities, you know, yes, yes. The thing is that now the, the customer, they fix the price at this, at this price that put the anti-dumping agreement. And then it's like, okay, but you know, can be something more than the price that they could say the Chinese is offer in the past. Yes, uh, I am optimistic. Uh, 
realistic but optimistic regarding a European market because uh, obviously <laughs> Europe suffer the most with this about uh, prices from China, this about cut off with the, with the government's aid. And, 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 and the sad thing is that the, the industry nowadays is maybe half last year, no? But uh, maybe the companies that can survive, uh, they are surviving, they are ready to, 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 to be able to, to survive and, 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 and more, more stable, no? And, and thinking about quality, uh, um, about re reliability, uh, thinking about these 30 years that, that, that someone has to have the, the, the module outside because the thing is uh, that, yeah, modules from other countries can be cheaper than uh, from Europe, but at the end, uh, when um, someone is testing the modules after five years, ten years, or whatever, the, 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 the European modules are the more reliable at this moment. Uh, regarding the other countries, uh, yeah, I think like Alessandro, for me, India is um, now they have uh, some future, like uh, model producers. You can find uh, a good companies there. Um, on the other side, here, uh, Eastern Europe is a uh, country of the of the East. Uh, they can be ready now for having a uh, good prices and and, and good um, quality. And then uh, Turkey, but uh, now Turkey maybe is uh, s slower than we thought because because um, yes yes because uh, these political problems um, didn't help them, and we we need to wait a little bit more regarding Turkey because it was like the future of everybody, yeah, yeah. but we will see, no? Yeah, but the thing is, I am optimistic because I see that uh, European. Uh, uh, manufacturers, they, they think about price because they have to survive, but they think about quality, and this is something good. Uh, from the point of view of multi-contact, I think you are not so stressed because you are supplying clients from all the continents. But uh, do you still believe, is it also Europe an important focus in the multi-contact strategy, Eric? For sure, it's very important. If, if you look, a lot of the turnkey maker for our models are and the most important in Europe. So basically, all the new technologies that are coming also into the models are developed in, in Europe, actually. So there's still a bright future for European company. Uh, I still believe that we will have some uh, model makers, some, some, some manufacturing in, in Europe. But I will nuance that a little bit with maybe the segmentation on the market, that, that people need to differentiate themselves with innovation and um, also um, find some niche market with specific products, specific model for a specific application, could be BIPV, could be, yeah. I think that's, 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 the, that's the situation. Regarding the, the other countries where the, the, the other the, the manufacturer can, can move to, I think the first question is, is there a market right now? Who is going to invest money if, if you don't have a market right now? And then for sure we are seeing also, as uh, Alessandro and, and Laura said, Turkey, we, we are also in contact with some model makers in Turkey. We are seeing some things moving in uh, East Europe as well in South America, some projects, some people speaking and in the in the MENA region but for the moment in this those countries there is no there's no real market so probably the people are still waiting to see the market starting and having also a little bit support from the government so maybe at the end uh, one more question just about the condition of the industry and especially how do you see from the point of view of suppliers is the industry really recovering after the crisis and if yes uh, are there any signs of that completely recovered uh, if we're only talking about europe i would say not because there's the market is very small we are seeing some some good numbers and and we had some nice projects in uk in uh, in benelux still some projects in france but basically it was was a, a very difficult year in in europe um, but if you are talking about new markets, could be the US, could be China, could be Japan. Japan is booing, so Multicontact will is, is more than happy to be involved in, in a lot of projects in, in Japan. So there's still a bright future, but I think outside of Europe for the moment. 
What about uh, Laura? What do you think from the point of view of Evaza? Yeah, I uh, agree with, uh, with Eric, uh, unfortunately, regarding Europe. You know, uh, I think that, and I hope, that this is the size of the of the, of the of the market. I hope it's not it's not going to be a smaller because now it seems that something happened to, to stop the decreasing of the yes stabilize. Um, and then uh, yeah, but uh, and, and regarding other market, well, no, for me PV is the future. Now the thing is to to, to stabilize the, the, the market, but around the world, no and and. Yes, uh, obviously for me it's India. I think uh, Turkey is going to be a, a good market also for us. Um, and let's go to see if uh, what happened with China. I, in China, I have uh, tough com competitors, but we want to be at the BOM of some of uh, Chinese producers, and I think that we are going to, to get it. And from the point of view of uh, Covema, because also I would like to ask you about um, the condition of your clients, obviously, and when we are speaking about the recovery of the industry. Did you notice uh, positive signs, uh, uh, Alessandro? To be honest, in Europe, uh, I noticed a recover. I noticed like a, like kind of a booming at the beginning of the year, like quarter two, let's say. Uh, the beginning of the year was was quite uh, fruitful for us and for our customer. Then, toward, because mainly prices of module were stabilizing, so there was a restart of the market. Uh, whereas on the second half, uh, I uh, really saw a, a reduction uh, in Europe. And um, on the other side, in China, the, our customer, our uh, producer, are are working really full time and with with big volumes and. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, mainly concentrated on, on the big top 10, 15 producers. So the strategy of Coveme is, of course, to, to, to be into this market as we, we, we are already for, for, for a couple of years. We open a factory there and we are in one of the biggest producers. So the focus will still be concentrated there. On the other side, in Europe and the other emerging markets, we are keeping uh, an, an eye and we uh, look how the, the, the production market uh, will develop as today the company must uh, streamline their production, must reduce the overhead cost. This is the big job that they have to do in order to survive to this business and be ready for the future. Okay, so I think that uh, with this question we can finish our panel discussion today. I see still that there is some optimism in your eyes, in your faces, so hopefully we will meet uh, very soon on the next supplier panel discussion. Thank you very much. Thank guys. you very much. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you very that much. That was so Solar PVTV from EU PVSEC in our suppliers panel discussion.